Well, the last time we talked, I showed you how to take these Food Saver brand wide mouth jar sealers, and it wouldn't have to be Food Saver, but um, honestly, they're the only ones I've seen. Uh, or actually, you can use the uh, regular mouth uh, accessory and a handheld vacuum made for food storage to seal in or vacuum seal dry foods in a mason jar. And I showed you using cat food last time. Well, today I want to show you something different. We all have had grandmothers at some point who, being thrifty, save their mayonnaise jars or pickle jars or mustard jars or whatever jars they had that would work, and they would put home canned foods in them and process them. Well, we know now that that's not a very good idea, and many of the extension services will have on their website information about this, and they tell you not to do it. But one thing you can do is you can use your lids, your canning lids, to fit the proper jar size and save other store-bought foods. I've got some mixed beans in this one, some pintos in this one, and this is ma instant mashed potatoes. And you might think, well, why don't I, you know, I can go buy the, buy the package of them and just keep them. Well, one of the things you find out in the package of these, some of them aren't sealed in plastic. They're just straight in the cardboard box. And this is one of the cheaper brands that you can get at the discount stores. But I'm going to show you how to store these in, um, and this actually, I think, is a mayonnaise jar. It's got a traditional uh, home canning lid, and just like with our other example, it's been vacuum sealed. So I've taken this jar of uh, instant mashed potatoes, and I've, you know, I've poured the potatoes in. And what you'll get is you'll get some dust. So you need to wipe the dust off, wipe off a little bit on the inside. And in order to keep that dust from getting up in the lid, or up in the um, vacuum sealer, you need to take a coffee filter, just a plain everyday coffee filter, cut a piece out the side, just a little bit bigger than the mouth of your jar. And you're going to fit this down inside the jar. And the idea here is to let the air flow out, but to keep the dust and the dry potatoes in. Pour as much the lid. And just as before, you know, this happens to be a wide mouth lid. The wide mouth lid seems to fit these uh, mayonnaise jars better. And I'm going to put the food saver on there. And the handy bag. And there we go. And now these dry potatoes are safe from water. Of course, you just, you know, you pop the lid off. They're safe from insects. They're safe from rodents. And you can keep them in your um, food cupboard. So don't be afraid to try things new. Um, I, have, I have a little bag of rice here that I'm going to be putting up here in a few minutes. And of course, you know, my dried beans. And we know that our beans come in just these weak plastic bags. And if you're buying in bulk, you need to be able to store these up somewhere that, you know, they're going to keep. Now, this isn't the same as sealing in mylar with an oxygen absorber, but this will extend the shelf life of your food, and it will keep the varmints and the critters out, and it will also keep the dampness out, which is a lot better than these cardboard boxes. So I hope this helps you out, and I hope you come up with some other ideas of, of ways to store food with things that you already have, and that you'll comment and let me know. Thank you.